In the water already, Gabriel Medina and Leo Fioravanti to kick things off. 30 minutes on the clock for their matchup. And they'll score it on their top two rides. For Medina, he's starting off the year fifth in the world with a couple of quarterfinal results. And Leo Fioravanti sitting 30th at the moment. Dealt with a tough 33rd at the season opener. Did a little bit better at Bells, but he really wants to make sure he's not worried about requalification towards the back end of the year. It's officially on with that clock starting to move. All he wants to see is his uh, son succeed on the top 34, which he already has a lot of success to be happy about. Now finally getting a start to the morning, Gabriel Medina, two-time world champ, belting the lift down the line. Big windup, there's the carve on the inside corner. Little bit of work to do on the top, and he'll slap it shut. A smaller inside wave. So Gabriel, for the first time I've seen in a long time, relinquishing that inside sec it's, uh, position, catching a smaller wave, just rapid fire on the backhand. I've got a funny feeling this way. Start, even though he wasn't sitting the deepest, but how's this wall? Well overhead, setting up for the Italian. Fioravante, first turn, clean rail work off the top. There's that front side wrap into the pocket. Stuck to that cutty again, and he'll head out there. Two waves ridden to kick off the morning. Yeah, two completely different approaches as well. You know, you could see Gabriel Medina with more of that vertical backside attack, and, and Leo Firavani with those big rail maneuvers. And then Leo, you see on a bigger wave, this first maneuver really hooking into that first turn, extending that maneuver and straight into the next one. So. Beautiful combination of turns there from Leo Fioravanti and kicking out, which is a smart thing as well. Controlling the, comp the, the, the priority situation here this morning. Right in the pocket, holding that rail, driving out of there, putting a lot of power into that 21-year-old. Gabriel's going to be looking for those deep, longer walls that he can get more turns off on and more vertical wrapped into the lip because that's what this is all about, scoring points, and that's exactly what Gabriel's going to do. He's Good man was. Points. Appreciate that as we see Medina winding up. Huge punt as he flies away. For some, you might say, okay, that's just a kick out. But for Medina, sometimes he pulls off a miracle. Because we're going to see him pull the trigger way more. He's one of those dangerous surfers without priority on tour. Leo oh. steps up and throws away priority. Might be in much too deep on that opportunity and get the score. Obviously, Leo had some room to really throw some risk on that start, but he's matching Medina in that mid-range, and he's going to try to recover from missing that last wave, and this one's going to have him too deep as well. Yeah, Leo looking a little rattled at the moment. Um, I think maybe hoping for a bigger score on that opening ride. 5.4, though. It's a good start. Beautiful size wave coming through, Joe. Looks like Gabriel Medina is going to have a crack. Super deep. He's going to pull in right under the hood. Medina trying to make that effort on that late takeoff. But he'll get clipped. Medina, a pipe master. Incredible, a backdoor pipeline. Took off so late. You never doubt him when he's in that position, but that one just didn't give enough room to come out. Fourth and third wouldn't get anything, but <laughs> second would get a pack of Oreos. The winner would get an Oreo and a Coca-Cola, and they were fighting for that prize. Paddling around each other, did whatever they could. Leo on this one falls into the barrel a little bit too deep. So we talk about the idea of amping up to surf Karama. So you can tell both these guys are just waiting to get a 10-point ride. Just a little out of rhythm to start. 11.50 on the clock. Gabriel Medina and Leo Fioravanti in the lineup in perfect conditions at Karamas. The Italian just up and out. It's been hard to pick the right wave. Medina has priority. And doesn't really need much for a lead change. She'll choose this one. Deep behind it. Pulls into the first section and ends up going down. Gabriel Medina and Leo Ferravanti kicking off things first thing in the morning on Monday. Just trying to find out what's going to work out there in this lineup. That's giving them a lot of different types of options wave-wise. Two-time world champ. We saw his stepdad Charlie there in the competitor's area. who's always on his side. 9-10 to go. Medina under priority. 
picking a clean way. First turn, big belt off the lip. There's the vertical again. So a two-turn combination, enough for a lead change. You know what, it's, it's kind of a, an interesting situation, Joe. I mean, the waves are absolutely pumping, but it, it seems like it's hard to find the good ones. Kind of stretched out. The ones that Strider were talking about that kind of load up on the reef a little deeper. Gabriel Medina just realizing the fact that he's got to get another score on the board. And, you know, we talk about how good this guy competes. He's not just an amazing surfer, but he's an amazing competitor. Under Kelly with 55 wins, 11 world titles. That'll probably remain forever. Yeah. But with Parco and Mick on, now it's, it goes to Medina for next most wins on tour with 12 CT titles. Backhand float for Medina. Vertically drills it off the coping. Nails it again in transition and fires up again on the inside corner. So dangerous under priority, adapting to find those mid-size sets that Strider was picking out as having the most scoring potential. Two scores to come in for Gabriel. Not a huge score, good little backup though, but then on the way back out, he falls out of the sky and then straight up through the lip. So there's a combination of major maneuvers that, that the judges want to see. I want to see these guys really rattle off some big turns, show some innovation, but at the moment, conditions proving a little hard to do that. So what's Gabriel doing? He's going back to basics, Joe. He's just getting a couple of good scores on the board, manufacturing this win, identifying the fact that those big, deep barrels aren't on offer just yet. So what's he doing? Well, he's absolutely tagging it, just falling out of the sky, comes around the section, and then straight into that vertical maneuver. So talk about the combination of turns. Gabriel Medina nailing that one shut. That is going to go into his top two. Part of the reef, 4.45 to go. Big opportunity for Viravanti to try to take the lead off the champ. It's going to be a big first turn vertically in the pocket. The Italian winds up, layback power gouge. She'll come out of that one. Starting to taper off quickly in size with a lot of energy and power to slam it shut with a big flow to finish. Wow, well, there we go biggest wave of the event so far. Leo Ferravanti really did capitalize on it too though, Joe. Went for it on that first maneuver. Look at this wave here. Way overhead for Leo Ferravanti as he comes off the bottom. Big jam vertical in the pocket. Free fall drop. I love that deep bottom turn that puts him in that perfect position to then rattle off another turn. You know, these bigger ones kind of push a little wide on the reef, but Leo read this wave incredibly well. I know it's going to be a great score for him. Again, that first turn critical turn into the lip and it just put him in a perfect spot for that maneuver number two mixing it up showing some variety speed power and flow i love that and leo Ferivani finishing off for me by far his best wave look at the size of this wave though beautiful bottom turn straight up vertical that's what the judges want to see commitment to that first turn which he did that could have easily come unstuck right there but leo so solid on his feet and then straight off the bottom again. The judge will love that transition between those two maneuvers and then just absolutely tearing the lip off that one. This is going to be a great score for Leo Ferrovani. It's going to put him right out in front. This is it. He kind of has to go this. Medina needing a 6.91 with 30 seconds. He's going for the tail high rotator. Lands into a layback but can't pull it off. Leo Ferrovanti already celebrating out the back. Gabriel is going to run out of time. Leo Ferravanti takes the win with a 7-3-3, and we see yet another upset at the Corona Bali Protected. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, had Gabriel Medina pulled that off, that backside rotator, it could have been close, but a 6.91 is quite a chunky score. Leo Ferravanti, what a heat he has just pulled off here this morning. You can see him splash in the water there, and that was just pure joy.